Not at the governor's mansion, second time today. That was the capital twice today. We did a, a number of photo shoots earlier in the morning. That's why I was out. Uh, various locations. So the Chevy's out parked. I don't see the governor's truck even though he's got his garage open. Capital's looking good. Definitely needs the rain. <coughs> Grass is a little dry. And fortunately, those bricks are gone, finally. Because I told the police when I first noticed that, that that was a problem. They have different flowers now. Or at least, uh, those yellow ones are fairly, they probably just bloomed up, I don't know. I don't remember from last week if those are, are new or not. So the flowers are sprouting up. Flag looks nice. They don't have any political flags up. They have the state flag. We should go look at the neighbor. I did go over and look at the neighbor a few weeks ago when they had the bricks out here and they were replacing the retaining wall and uh, it looked like the work was being done pretty nice. They were putting in drain tile and weep holes and all kinds of stuff so yeah. We're still working on it, it looks like. Got some conduits. Some stuff in the back here, but. They're not done yet, but. Getting close. I think it's nice. Gonna have some, uh, some lights on the top, probably. So this was apparently done. I don't know if that means uh, this group did it or not. I think it was these guys. I think it was these guys who, uh, who did the work. And uh, the work that they did looks really good. The existing stuff, like right here, you know, the steps, um, that needs a lot of work still. I don't know if masonry guys are doing that or not, but the retaining wall that they did looks really good. I don't know how this SOS thing relates to it, but they did this wall all the way around. They did a good job on the grass too. And it's mostly been put back together. They did all the way down this street, looks like. I'm not sure if they did into the other properties here or not. I know this was part of it. Boy, it's all the same property. Wow, this is a huge property here. They did this work all the way back to here. And I think you can tell what was there before and what's there now. And it's a real improvement, real improvement. This new wall looks great. Um, I don't know how old this old wall was, but the new wall looks great. So these guys do a good job on there. You know, just taking care of the, the front here too. You know, they're landscaping and everything.
this step is looking pretty sad compared to the, what was what's new. Now my guess is the steps look good compared to what was there before. Anyway, they did a great job putting that drain tile. Um, helps to keep the water from accumulating behind the wall. And, uh, looks to me like, uh, like these guys did a good job. I think those guys did a good job. It looks nice. Never have had a tour of this place. We always help them out all the time, telling people where to go and where to park and stuff like that. But never actually gotten to go inside. Uh, after you look at that new wall, um, you look at how shabby this wall is. You know the, the, they could just fix it, you know. It would look a lot better if they were to do this basic uh, mason repair work on this wall. You know, they, they need to do a better job. You know, because if you don't take care of stuff, um, it's just going to fall apart. And doing basic maintenance on things like the governor's mansion um, is reasonable, you know. They're not falling apart, but if you look over here, they're not doing that good, you know. It's just neglect, you know. This is the kind of stuff that uh, you get some mason out here to fix, you know. Look over here, same kind of thing, you know. It's kind of sad how they I'm taking care of stuff. One of their neighbors is taken remarkably good. Well, I think that's kind of the point, I guess, is maybe if the neighbor had been taking care of that wall better, it would have lasted. But you can see where a lot of the masonry has fallen out of the wall, you know, and, uh, and nobody's doing basic patch and repair work on it. I would be absolutely flabbergasted if instead of being out in the backyard working on his truck, I saw the governor out here one day with a bucket of, a bucket of, uh, masonry uh, mix that's the appropriate color um, <laughs> fixing this. I, I would I would be flabbergasted, you know. Some of this would be fairly difficult to fix. Because um, it's pretty bad, but um, sadly they don't take care of it. Governor Waltz never comes out here. We, we've been out here over a hundred times. Um, you see how he does go sit in the backyard with his garage open and work on his garage. So you can see that over there. But we've been out here every Saturday for more than two years. And the governor is, and we go to events too. We go to all kinds of events as well, you know. Even at press conferences, the governor doesn't talk to us. 
Uh, the governor is essentially not accessible to people like, like us, anyway. And uh, uh, in contrast, uh, you can look at all of our videos to show how accessible candidates like Scott Jensen are. You know, we're running videos of Scott Jensen all the time. Matt Burke, you know, uh, all, all the statewide candidates and also the local ones, too. Um, but, you know, it seems like once they get themselves in office in places like this, um, they're no longer, no longer um, represent the people. They're just about, uh, you know, working on their car in the garage for a couple hours and not talking to anybody. Sad.